Welcome to Money Talks. I'm Susanna Pock. It's that time of year again. April 17th is about a month away, and that means the deadline to file your 2011 tax returns is coming soon. The IRS says you should file returns even if you can't make the full payment. And if you can't, you might qualify for a monthly payment plan. But at this point, you still have several weeks to send out your forms, so it's better to file early and have peace of mind. I'm glad that I got mine done and it's over, and hopefully I will have not have to amend anything. Tax account manager Tracy Burgett says you can make an amendment on your return by filing Form 1040X. And she has several other tips you should keep in mind as you're preparing to file. So the three items I'm going to go over today that I've seen for the 2011 tax year is one, what income do I need to include? Two, earned income credit, um, who's entitled to take it? Three, cancellation of debt. So the first one is income. Individuals have this misconception that if they are paid as contract employees that they don't have to include up to $600 in income and that's incorrect. We need to make sure that we're including that income and any unreported tips um, that went to our employer. The second thing I'm going to go over is earned income credit. Generally, all credits are applied to individuals who claim dependency exemption. However, there is a special rule for divorced and separated parents. And that rule basically states that, states that a non-custodial parent can claim the exemption in a child tax credit on that child, while the custodial parent is allowed to take all of the other credits, including the earned income tax credit. In doing that, the custodial parent needs to sign an Form 8332 over to the non-custodial parent. Number three is cancellation of debt. If you receive a cancellation of debt, a 1099-C or a 1099-A for foreclosure, it's vital that you get to a tax professional. There's tax relief out there for individuals who uh, lost their homes and it was their main residence, so it's very important that they take it to a tax professional. For more tips, visit irs.gov. For Money Talks, I'm Susanna Pock.